the century begin. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, and tomorrow is just a dream away. like the robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. What year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century. And believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. Yes, sir, buildings are towering now as high as 20 stories. And moving pictures flicker up on a big screen. We have almost 8,000 automobiles in this country, and we can travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days. And I even hear tell about two brothers in North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying contraption. <laughs> It'll never work. Closer to home, we've now got gas lamps, a telephone, and the latest design in cast iron stoves. And that reservoir keeps five gallons of water hot and just three buckets of coal. Oh, boy, it sure beats chopping wood. And isn't our new ice box a beauty? Look at that. Holds 50 pounds of ice. Milk doesn't sour as quick as it used to. And our dog Rover here keeps the water in the drip pan from overflowing. It wasn't too long ago we had to carry water from a well. And thanks to progress, we've got a pump right here in the kitchen. Of course, we keep a bucket of water handy to prime it with. Yes, sir, we've got everything we need to make life easier. Say, Mother, mm -hmm. I was reading about a fellow named Tom Edison who's working on an idea for snap-on electric lights. Electric lights? No more kerosene, no more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash day marvel. Now it takes me only five hours to do the wash. Imagine, it used to take two days. Well, that's right, folks. Now Sarah has time for other things like... like canning uh, and cleaning the oven. Yes, dear. Well, ovens don't just clean themselves, you know. I know, dear. <laughs> And they probably never will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get the laundry off the line before it starts raining cats and dogs. <coughs> oh, don't worry, Rover. She didn't mean real dogs. Besides, it's not going to rain today. My lumbago isn't acting up. Boy, look at it come down. All you have to do is put your wash on the line, right? Oh, well, the cistern was low anyway. Wow, we look at that. Now, James, I thought I told you to ask my permission before using my new stereoscope. That's not a toy, you know. Voila, so that's the Luigi doing the Luigi Coochie, eh, Dad? Isn't she a knockout? She's the star of the new World's Fair in St. Louis, and... <clears throat> now, you put that away before your mother finds it. Oh, Dad? You heard me. Well, we have one of those new talking machines. Now, that is something. It plays music right here in our home. Yes, Patricia? Papa, all these people. I'm, I'm indecent. <laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. They're friends. That's our teenage daughter. She's getting ready to go to a Valentine's dance across town on one of those new horseless trolleys. I think it's very romantic you're taking Mother out for Valentine's dinner this evening. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have an evening as romantic. Now, you be home by 9 o'clock, daughter. You hear me? Yes, Papa. Oh, well, with all this talking, I've worked up quite a thirst. <laughs> I think I'll take one of those newfangled trolleys down to the drugstore soda fountain and meet the boys for a cold sarsaparilla. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. Well, that's progress for you. And uh, speaking of progress, <laughs> there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow is just a dream away
since the turn of the century, over 20 some odd years ago. You know that pilot fella, Charles Lindbergh? He's about to fly a single wing airplane all the way across the Atlantic. <laughs> He's never gonna make it. And sports stadiums are springing up all over. And boy, nobody hits that old horse hide like that new fella, Babe Ruth. Jazz music is the cat's meow. And there's been ads in the paper for months for a movie starring Al Jolson. And he's going to talk and sing. Oh, boy, I've got to see that. <laughs> Here goes Schwartz in his Huffmobile. He sure loves that horn. You know, in my new Essex, I've got an electric starter. Now I don't have to crank. We can travel from New York to Los Angeles by train in only three days. And we've got a house full of new electrical servants. Mr. Edison sure added life to our home. <laughs> the third one this week. I buy fuses by the case. Uh-oh. And I blow the whole neighborhood again. He did it again! Go over and give that neighbor of ours what for! Easy, Rover. Jimmy, hurry up with that fuse! Shucks! Every time he has company, he blows a fuse. And guess who always has to change it? I heard that, young man. I heard that. Oh, well, that's more like it. John, yours is the last costume I've got to finish before the parade starts. Sarah's Ladies Club is responsible for our town's 4th of July celebration tonight. She's got us all roped into performing in their program. And I've right? decided we're going as George and Martha Washington, dear. Oh, the father of our country. <laughs> That's a role that really fits me. You know, I'm I... so glad we installed an electric light fixture here on the porch because it's just too darn hot to be sewing inside. Yes, Sarah. You know, next year I'd like to go as Benedict Arnold. And Wait I... until you see what I've got planned for the fireworks show tonight. Rover, don't interrupt while Sarah's interrupting. And guess who volunteered to choose the music for the program? I did, Bob. Listen to this. Oh, that's a nice tune, Jimmy. You know, with our new Crosley radio set, we can get news and big-time entertainment from all over the country, even Pittsburgh. Oh, Patricia! Yes, Father? Better get a move on. The radio says folks are arriving downtown. Do I really have to go? If my new boyfriend, Theodore, sees me in this, it'll scare him away. Well, dear, if that happens, you'll always have that torch you can carry for him. <laughs> oh, Father. Calm down, Rover. I was only kidding. By the way, we have indoor plumbing now. Oh, boy, that's really great on cold nights, especially for our perennial house guest, old Uncle Orville. <laughs> Uncle Orville's taken over the coolest spot in the house, of course, and he's rigged up a real clever contraption. He calls it air cooling. <laughs> Too bad he's not reading the help wanted ads. No privacy at all around this place. Sorry, Orville. You know, considering all the... Oh, coming, Martha, as I was saying. Considering all the conveniences we now have, I'll say that we're really on easy street these days. It just can't get any better. Just goes to show that there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. 